some random designing on Unity. Analytics. To figure out how the game runs smoothly and it's not easy or too hard, I'd like to gather some data. This is done using game analytics. The data will only be used by me, some random designing, and only for analytics. It's a great way to help improve the game, but also completely optional. You will not be taking any of my analytics. Not at all. Decimate Drive. It's a run or die in a killer car infested city. Dash from dumpster to park bench and don't make a wrong move. Terror trucks, ruthless RVs and other vicious vehicles are always right behind you. So, real life. Decimate Drive is terrifyingly fast paced and drenched in atmospheric horror. So it's categorized as a horror, survival horror, first person, atmospheric, PvE, action, multiple endings, female protagonist, single player, exploration, adventurer, adventurer, adventure, runner, action, adventure, psychological horror, 3D, dark, destruction, indie, tactical, and most importantly, America. Yes, it's actually categorized as America. I don't know why. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. All right, options. Full screen, graphics, custom. Ultra. Uh, full half fourth eighth resolution. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, what kind of anti aliasing is it? Uh, customized game, the amount of hits you can take before dying. Fewer, more. Uh, we'll just leave it as it is for now. Uh, continue plus, I guess we have a new game. Flashing lights. It contains flashing lights that may be unsuitable for people with photosensitivity or epilepsy. Controls pause the game while playing to view the controls. Headphones recommended. This game is perfect for recommending. Recommending blah blah blah. Sorry. This game is best played with headphones and lights off. Whoa. Wait, what happened? What happened? E. That's what E does. That's what Q does. I must be blacking out. I need to help. I need to find help right now. All right. So we have to look at controls. Yeah. Good. Oh, controls are down here. What the hell? Uh, a W S and D to move and look around. Your mouse hold shift to sprint. A space to jump. Q and E to look over your left and right shoulder. And that's it. I don't have a stamina bar or anything. Lighting seems pretty good. slowly pushed me. I'm guessing I'm supposed to answer the phone and he's supposed to drive into me or something. That's very bright. Okay. Oh, I can jump now. What the payphones hold shift to sprint space to jump. Cheers. Should have let me jump beforehand. I can't jump onto the bin.
Hmm. Right now. Can I do it through the fence? I can. <laughs> uh, terrible. Uh, am I being lulled into a false sense of security because I'm getting a little bit bored? Possibly. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Yeah, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Oh, here we go. Here's some, something's coming. There it is. Come get me. Can't do shit. There, buddy. Okay. Oh, there we go. Despawn? Ah, oh, no, it's stuck again. I can hear the clicking. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, needs a bit of work. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I don't understand what the point is that the point in the payphone is. What's what's the idea with the payphones? I don't get it. What am I meant to be doing? Why am I here? I don't understand. If it was like, I'm walking home and I'm being chased by something and I have a destination I need to go to, sure. But this is just running from point to point, avoiding the car, and the car's AI is terrible. Um, because I think it's broken. I mean, I understand it's a demo, it's a work in progress, yep. Okay. Q, I need to look over your shoulder. Why would I need to, though? Tanks. Oh, please tell me the tanks come to life and start fucking... Oh, it's probably going to be one of those.
yeah. Look, it... It's not really scary. Um, psychological horror? Survival horror? Horror? Nah. Um... I don't know, I just don't feel it. And I, I, um, I'm a jumpy boy. Um... I guess I just don't understand why I have to go to payphones. I don't understand that concept. Um... I'm not too sure. I don't know. I don't know what you could do to it to try and, and, t and tweak anything. Um... I don't know. I just, I didn't feel... I didn't feel a threat. I didn't feel very scared. I didn't feel, oh no, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I was just like, yeah, okay, whatever, there's cars. Um, they're circling around. Um, I don't know, I just didn't feel that, that... I just didn't feel it. No. Yeah. I'm not sure. Not sure. Um, I, yeah, I guess I just don't understand. Um, why am I bleeding? Or is that just carryover from... No, I am, I bleed. Oh, that's right at the start. Um, yeah, I just don't get it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure of it. It just doesn't feel very scary. It just feels like run from point to point. Random point to point. Um, uh, for reasons I just don't know. So. I don't know. Um, that's a lot of blood. Don't know what's going on there. Um, I don't know, maybe the player character needs to have a little bit more, um, that is a lot of blood, what the hell, I think, uh, maybe the player character needs to have, like, a sense of urgency, but, like, um, uh, conveyed more in how they do things, like, I can hear its breath, um, but the breath is constant, and it's steady, and it's consistent. Whereas, um, usually, like, your heart rate would increase if you're getting chased by something or you notice something or, or something like that. Um, so, I could like to try to emphasize that you're in a rush, you're running out of time, you need to get to that point as fast as possible, and this thing is going to come out of nowhere and stop you. Um, because at the moment, this is just basically a puzzle you go from point A to point B to point C without getting hit. But I don't feel any urgency, I don't feel any sense of I need to get there as soon as as soon as I can, and I'd feel no fear of the cars. They're just a pain in the ass because they're an obstacle in the way. So, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I guess one of the ideas that you could possibly come up with, um, is, like... I don't know what's happening with all this blood. This blood... If this is supposed to be part of the horror, uh... Kind of not seeing it. Um... Have, have, like, the cars sort of come up to you and, like, disappear. Like, sort of like ghost cars or something. Or have stuff that moves. Because it just... Yeah, look at all the blood. I just don't... I don't understand what you're trying to do with all that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. It just feels more like a, the cars are a pain in the ass than a horror element. <coughs> um, I mean, all these tanks and shit, if the tanks started moving, like just little by little, so like you turn around and when the, when the camera's not showing... When you're not looking at the at them, they're slowly moving towards you, but only very slightly, enough for you to go, hang on, was that there before? 
but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I have to keep an eye on it. See how you go with it. Um, yeah, I just don't get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'll I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>